Hi, this is Jackie with Hula Girl NFT, and we're doing something really special. I have these archival prints from this collection I made um, a little while back, and uh, they've been in the world for a while, but we thought, hey, let's give something fun away. So what we're doing is during the month of February, on Instagram, if you follow us at Hula Girl NFT and like us, we put you in a raffle. And on Twitter, if you follow us on, at Hula Girl NFT and retweet us, we also put you in that raffle. So we're giving away three in each area. We're pulling the names um, on February 28th and we're gonna videotape it. And whoever we pull, we're gonna contact you and you get to pick which one you want and we'll just send it to you. So follow us, Hula Girl NFT. Welcome to Everything Currency. This is a show where we talk about everything crypto and mo. I'm your host, Jay, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about these markets. So in my last video, I decided to take a break, take a week break away from the charts, away from crypto. You know, sometimes you have to take a break from things, get your head together, go on vacation, do all that good stuff. We had a crazy nice run that has been going on for like since COVID hit. So things have been like down straight head in the books since that happened. But now I am back ready to talk to you guys a little bit about these charts and what do you know today is a very nice day with the volume and with the prices getting a little bit of a spike but we're going to talk about it on these charts because we are not out of the woods yet so if you're excited about that like the video subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed to the channel and let's just get right into it so looking at the fear and greed index right now everybody is extremely fearful and for good reason so besides the pump that we had today the Things were looking pretty bad on this Bitcoin chart, but I'm seeing some signs of momentum finally on these charts seeing that um, the main thing that I wanted to see happen was that we hold a higher low, which is here we have this low and then this one is a little bit higher than that. Um, if we want to count the wicks, if we want to count the body closes, we got one right here and then one right here. But nonetheless, there's this trend line that has started to show up that has started on January 21st. We hit over here a couple times on it and now we're bouncing on it again. So this could be a potential bullish sign in this market. I said I wasn't going to think about anything bullish until we got back above 40K. We did that in one day. So one day kind of took away about 11 days of bearish price. Uh, bearish price action but if we go to the weekly chart we are still definitely not out of the woods yet we need to get back above 42k we need to hold there on the weekly chart because right now we are still getting rejected on these levels um, ever since December so once we fell below it we're getting rejected above these below these levels we need to get back above it fast now the most bearish thing that I'm seeing on these charts would be right here on the monthly so this is the first time we dip below this 13 monthly moving average and then we're trying to get back above it right now so that's coinciding with this bullish thing where we always bounce off of the 21 monthly moving average to the upside and right now we are bouncing on it again so if we get below this 13 and close here that's going to look bad and maybe it's going to look bad if we close below here which is kind of below this trend line that i was just talking about so right now things are looking pretty good on the daily considering if we can hold these levels and possibly get above and close above 4170 maybe 42 right now i'm thinking we just need to close above 42 for bitcoin and looking at the macd hopefully this gives us some momentum to actually do that so we put in a higher low now the next bullish thing we have to do is put in a higher high above this high and you know just continue this this upside that we're having right now so hopefully we can get some type of trend where we start just you know start trickling up like this and that can send us into some some nice all-time highs so on these charts you might hear people getting a little bit weary people getting a little bit scared bitcoin is doing some things that we haven't actually seen it do before so a lot of people who are looking at historical data to do their ta are getting a little um, bamboozled a little bit i'm just looking at the day-to-day -day price action and making sure that it just doesn't hit below some of the levels that i like to see things hold for me to call it um 
to, for me to call it bullish. So right now, getting back above the 21 uh, moving average on the daily is pretty pretty good, but mainly bouncing off of the um, 21 on the weekly to the downside is what I keep seeing here. So bouncing off of it here, getting a bearish cross on the 13 and the 21, and then just staying well below it. So the only thing giving me hope is that we got a MACD hope, hoping to give us some momentum to get back above the 21 moving average, which is this this yellow line right here. So for me to get back super bullish again, I need to see us cross 45K with a nice close above that. Um, and I'll be a little bit more happy. But right now, hey, signs of an uptrend. Let's go. Let's get it. These altcoins are looking pretty interesting. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the this right here. Interesting things going on in the news right now. So this whole war and stuff, it, it's scaring a bunch of people. It got a bunch of people out of the market, got a bunch of people thinking that the markets were going to dip and all this stuff. Now, historically, usually markets do pretty good in time of war, unless you're the country that's getting sanctioned. Um, but usually markets do pretty interesting things during times of war. So I'm just expecting a bunch of volatility, maybe take advantage of some of that volatility. But I wanted to talk about this here because there's all this talk about the Ukraine and Bitcoin and how everybody's gonna be happy and adopt bitcoin and all this stuff like that and i just want to say that um it says breaking news nearly 15 million bit in bitcoin has been anonymously donated to support ukrainians now Bitcoin is not anonymous and Bitcoin can be tracked. And the way that they stop you from using your Bitcoin is they stop you at the on ramp. So when you want to use it for something like gas, there's not a gas station that I know of or probably not a gas station in a lot of places is probably illegal that accepts Bitcoin um, for you to buy gas or something like that. So in, in the case of the truckers, um, if they need gas or something like that, they probably are very limited to the amount of things that they can buy with Bitcoin. Now, there's some news that happened today that I think we pumped because eBay CEO came out and said that he's thinking about adding cryptocurrencies to the platform that will allow people who are trying to use cryptocurrency to maybe buy it in a different ways. But the on ramps and the regulated businesses is where they stop people from using Bitcoin. So that's the first thing. So Bitcoin is not a very good option for that in uh my opinion like it's easy to move those funds around but then it's hard to get them out of bitcoin and, and actually spend them on something until more adoption is happening and then anonymously um this word right here does not need to be nowhere near bitcoin because bitcoin is not anonymous it's actually more traceable like i can go and trace where these funds came from yeah i'm not going to see the person's name on the wallet but i can trace all the way back to where it came from so if i'm the fbi and i can see a bunch of ways that this came from it's easy to figure out it's it's easy to figure out so um you know Bitcoin is not very good for criminals. So that argument is pretty bad. Um, and that's what the government are calling these people. I'm not calling them criminals, but I'm just saying um, what you call it. It's not good for people who want to hide their activities. Just put it that way. Not criminals. So something to think about. And the next thing I want to talk about was this tweet here it says withdraw your Bitcoin from exchanges. Please, 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 please do not hold a lot of cryptocurrency on exchanges. It is very serious. I don't see enough people talking about it. I got links in the description for hardware wallets. It is the safest way um, you can use a paper wallet. You can download a wallet for your phone, but that's also still dangerous because your phone is connected to the Internet. So you either want to get, in my opinion, the safest way is a paper wallet um, that you put in a fireproof safe and or a, a ledger or a safe pal wallet which i have those in the description so let's talk about the intro of this video a little bit so if you guys don't know or you do know i'm helping out and i'm working on a project called the hula girl nft and i like it because they're doing some dope stuff spreading positivity and um we got a bunch of other collections in the works this is just the first one so we got tiki man we got hula girls we got cocktails a whole bunch of things coming so check out that discord but today is the last day for you to go ahead and sign up and try to get one of these prints. It's going to come with a physical print and an NFT, um, and it's going to be something that you can get early in this project. So right now we do have a early adopters program coming. Bunch of things going on. Go check out the white paper. Um, you know, just check out the Hula Girl NFT because besides the other NFT projects that I like, this one is also pretty cool and um, going to be helping clean up some oceans. So I think that is pretty dope for sure so check out that and yeah go and get into this this drawing it's only gonna be until today
last days today. So stable coin dominance. So a lot of people were kind of surprised that I was looking at stable coin dominance to try to see what's going on with this market. So we normally use Bitcoin dominance and we say, hey, when Bitcoin dominance is going um, up, that usually has is a bad sign for altcoins. And when and I figured, you know what, a lot of people are using stable coins more this way around. I'm using stable coins more this time around. Um, so I'm thinking, hey, a lot more people are using these stable coins. A lot more people are using Tether and, and stuff like that. So I'm looking at stable coin dominance to see if we get a rejection right here on this level. Um, on this red line which would send us down and that would be nice now what I am also seeing is that this is a bullish pattern it is a uh, cup and handle so hopefully it gets rejected and we can see that you know money starts going into the other coins the other cryptos but also I wanted to point out this the this is the chart of the stable coins uh, supply right here look at this have you ever seen anything this is crazy this is crazy so um you can say this is monthly printing, depending on what side of the argument that you are. You can say this is adoption. I think it's a little bit of both, um, but I think this thing is still breaking out. It's going high. It's super parabolic. Um, if we put it on the weekly, this thing looks crazy. There's not any, any, any like red in here. There's a little bit of red there, a little bit of red there, but I am seeing that also, you know, the volume on this is kind of decreasing. So when I see a volume spike, on the stable coins and we're getting more stable coins being brought into circulation of course those go somewhere they get used in markets they get thrown in money markets they bring more liquidity to the space and that's good we want to see some of this market cap that got ate up in this downtrend come back into the space so let me know what you guys think about the video do you think bitcoin is going to get over 42k 4150 by the end of today do you think that this stablecoin market cap is gonna have to have a huge retracement and um hopefully you don't think bitcoin is anonymous because it's not check out the hula girl nft make sure you get yourself a hardware wallet like the video subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed to the channel leave me a comment in the comment box of any cryptocurrencies you want me to check out if you made it to the end of the video one cryptocurrency that i am very interested in right now is theta and t bill and g pool because you can get 50 percent on stable coins and we'll talk about that in the next video till next time oh oh rp to crypto roots as always um happy birthday um it's not today but his birthday passed um yeah so rp to crypto roots till next time peace